There you go. Generosity is the heart of 4-H, teaching young participants about the world they live in and how they can help those who need assistance is a powerful lesson. Before the children can learn how to help, they must first explore how to determine the need. We teach nutrition every week, every specific day. So in each lesson we go through with games and then we have a little talk about what we're talking about that day and then we do a little activity. Once we have determined some needs, then as a SPIN volunteer, you can help the children brainstorm ideas for making their community or neighborhood a healthier and happier place. The next step in the process is to empower the students, give them the encouragement, tools, and information they need to share their time and talents. Our children love to please others. They just need to be taught how to help. Here are some great examples of 4-H participants doing great things for others. In this group, participants made party hats, games, and decorations, which were put into New Year's Eve party bags and donated to local hospitals to give to young patients. These 4-H members made fleece blankets, pet toys, and pet treats that were given to a local animal shelter. Members of the 4-H Mad Scientist Club learned many different aspects of biotechnology. In learning about plant-based products, they made homemade soap and donated it to a local nursing home. These participants are part of the 4-H Teen Hunger Ambassador Spin Club. They plan prepared and served a free meal to the hungry in their community. Or how about this project? These 4-H'ers are learning about mapping. They are conducting a needs assessment and redesigning a park in their community. They will present their new ideas to the City Park Board as part of their 4-H Spin Club experience. We try and have an open and kind of honest environment so they're, they're free to tell things and other people tell, tell things to them and they kind of learn from, from each other as well as us, and sometimes we even learn from them. Giving of yourself is the greatest gift you can share. Teaching our children that lesson at an early age fosters in our future leaders a desire to serve others. I guess my thing is you don't need to have somebody, you know, they'll say, well, I want to pay you, or I want to smile and just the joy on their face. Uh, using different kinds of abilities and learning your potential. I like the activities and stuff and I like to help people and I have the opportunity to be a teen leader so I, that, that would probably be my reason for coming back. Thank you for teaching the next generation of young people how to make a difference in their communities.